today from Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. This is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. We'll see Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Just off the east bank of the Cumberland River and across the water from the Tennessee State Capitol building, there's a look at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. started and off we go from Nashville Khalif Raymond now and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line the Titans set to take over behind their quarterback Ryan Tannehill a terrific athlete started at wide receiver before becoming the starting quarterback at Texas A&M and also took his studies pretty seriously as well he was a biology major at Texas A&M planned to become an orthopedic surgeon but being the eighth pick in the NFL draft, that paid just a little bit better. Now a first down throw, Tannehill. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. Tannehill's pass. Seven yards, the pick up there. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. First carry for Derrick Henry. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Colin Sunder. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Tannehill. He's got Smith here. Tannehill. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. Got a man, it's Brown. And they're gonna mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. And one.
that's the end of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Nicole Hardman, pro bowler last year as a rookie, is deep for KC. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Chiefs offense coming out here and bringing them onto the field. The most valuable player of last year's Super Bowl, and that's Patrick Mahomes. Well, partner, normally if a guy's touchdown passes fall in half, the first thing you'd say is he really didn't have a very good season, did he? Well, it's true. Mahomes dropped from 50 touchdown passes the year before to just 26 last year. But remember, he had a knee injury and missed a few ball games, and he still remained in the conversation as the best quarterback in the NFL. On first and ten, here's Mahomes, and he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Sammy Watkins is a former first-round pick in the NFL, and he sure reminded us during Kansas City's run to the playoffs last season. Ten catches in the AFC Championship game and a 98-yard receiving game in Super Bowl 54. He did talk about possibly stepping away and getting some time in the offseason. But Kansas City, very happy to have him back in their lineup and in their fold. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's got it to Williams. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? Come on, now. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Mahomes took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Their own 26-yard The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Tannehill on first down. They set up the screen for Henry. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Offense. 
That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. Oh, we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Forced out to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. So still 14 yards to go, second down. Tannehill now to throw. And he finds Corey Davis. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Tannehill. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Anthony Ferkser. Out of bounds at the 42-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Four receivers now. Three to the right, one to the left. Second down and four. The final shot here before the break. Tannehill. He'll look downfield for Humphreys. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've hit halftime here. What obviously is a very fast-moving first half of play. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a defensive stalemate. No scoring in that first half whatsoever. But a breakthrough can't be too far off. And for the start of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. scoring in our first half what will the second half bring as we are now back underway now this will make it into the end zone and Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25 here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three these guys had to punt last time it has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far they haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Watkins. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. First down, Mahomes. 
Got a man open. It's Ricky Seals Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. An 11 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Now, left side on the swing pass. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. It's a gain of 17 yards. First down, Kansas City. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Working with a second and three. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. From the 10, first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. Oh, no, he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And it fights through. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. He's at the 40. Past the 20. And in for the score. Are you kidding me? They return it, and they take the lead. And my, how the tables have turned after that play. And you know what? You think back to 1978. Little history lesson here. Take us through it, Charles. You remember that. I remember it well. Trying to run out the clock. The Giants, Joe Pizarczyk, trying to hand up to Larry Zaka. The ball goes on the ground, and Herm Edwards picks it up. What do we call that? Look it up, kids. The miracle at the Meadowlands. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first, or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. inside of two minutes and it gets overturned and it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made now they have to flip back and start over very fortunate to get another shot here's second and goal now Williams and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six 
Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run it in. It's Williams. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Butker's kick here is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. Well, it took a while to get something, anything, on the scoreboard, but we finally have our first points of the contest. So the question now becomes, can they make this one stand up? And the way that these defenses have played, those three points almost look like 30, don't they? Yeah, those three points look like a miracle right now. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own. So now Tannehill and the Titans down 3 nothing. A little over 50 seconds remaining. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Complete, it's Henry. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Now it's Tannehill. Dancing to his left. He finds an opening past the 40. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call a flatliner. Level in everything he does, and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. He's back to throw. It's caught. Smith. Three yards the game there. Second down. Well, no coach, but there's just not time right now for throws that short. Yeah, sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. As Coach Madden liked to say, sometimes you have to take what you want. Titans moving quickly here. They're in the hurry up. Back to throw. He gets it to Humphreys. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on. But they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward.
So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Nashville.